Mason City senior Megan Meyer can score the ball. I've always worked on shooting, you know, shooting's always kind of been my niche. But being able to attack the basket has really opened up a lot of things for me. Averaging 25 points per game, the 5'8 point guard set the single game Mohawk record with 37. Then she set it again with 40. Nice job, away. She has set a number of school records for us for most points in a season, most overall points in Mason City history, made three pointers and a three point percentage. You might think she was born to play. Megan is the third child in our family. So we have, our oldest is our son, Matt, and then we have three daughters. I played a little bit of college basketball. It was a game that I loved and they fell in love with it quickly too. I was always tagging along to practices, you know, shooting at the other hoops. I was never really much to run around. I was always focused on the game. She was sitting on the bench watching the whole time. She liked to watch how plays developed. Come on, we gotta get to 140. Started from when she was really young. You know, she came in as a freshman and played right away for us. She had her sister, uh, Mackenzie, as a role model of kind of how we do things and, and how to play the game the right way. I think that brought us closer together as sisters, playing with each other. I looked forward to that for a long time. For one season, Megan would finally become teammates with her big sister, Mackenzie, one of the best players in the state. She's helped pave the way for me. Being able to watch the game and watch her play really helped me get to where I am. I saw how much work she put in. Oh my gosh. And I knew that I needed to put more work in to be better than her. And <laughs> she caught right on right away. She's a great player. She certainly isn't my shadow. She works hard in so many ways and she's, I mean, become a great shooter and she's obviously one of the best players in um, the state of Iowa. Bring in, high five your teammates. That was uh, one of our favorite years when they both got to join each other. And there were some great moments along the way. We were down by one point against Valley. Time was ticking off the clock and Mackenzie shot up a shot and it ricocheted off into Megan's hands. I got the rebound and put it right in. We went down to the locker room and she ran in. She's like, Megan, I'll never be mean to you again, I promise. The sub-state final, we were down three points with a handful of seconds to go, and they drew up a play, and Megan caught it in the corner, and she sank it. We prevailed in overtime, and the rest oh, was history. We went on, won the next three, and won the state tournament. And for Mason City, number 50, Megan Meyer. I usually get nervous before games, but I just had this confidence in me that we were going to win this game. Going into the state tournament, we were feeling very confident. Mackenzie Meyer fires a deep three. <laughs> Megan really came through. Here's Meyer looking for the layup. She came out firing, ready to go. As a mom, too, you're so nervous because you want both of them to perform. Mason City are your 4A champions. Thank goodness it, it turned out that way for him. It was really awesome to be able to be the, on the all tournament team with her. And the captain of the 4A all tournament team, Mackenzie Meyer. And it was a really cool moment to share that with her because it was such a big honor. Being able to play for Iowa was always a dream of mine. And then her getting that opportunity really helped open my eyes to be like, oh, maybe I can do this someday too. Megan and I both grew up Hawkeye fans. Our whole family are, are Hawkeye fans. So it wasn't really a very tough decision for her. You know, the first one was pretty good. Uh, Mackenzie did a great, has done a great job for us. And you know, when you, when you recruit siblings, you know families. And that's part of the whole recruiting process is relationship building. And when you get to know a family as good as the Myers, uh, you know the next one's gonna be pretty good. One of the highlights of Iowa is they have an amazing coaching staff and you feel like you're sending them off to another group of moms that will not only develop them into a basketball player, but more importantly, into a person. I'm really excited to just see her game continue to progress, and I can't wait to play with her at the next level. Megan and McKenzie will reunite in Iowa City, but the Myers aren't done in Mason City yet. Go, oh, bring it in. Macy's one of our managers, and so she's obviously been in our locker room, and 
I'm sure we'll see her in a Mohawk uniform fairly soon. I was lucky to follow Mackenzie to the gym when she'd go practice, and now Macy does the same thing to me. Right here, three in a row, Megan. I think that she's going to really look forward to playing basketball. If she keeps putting in the time, which I know she will. You always want them to reach their dreams, and it's hard. And we feel very blessed to have two girls that have been able to get to play on the same team at a high level. What a great feeling and a proud moment for parents.